This is a picture of my brain. Pretty cool, huh? It was made with magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. It's a fairly new technology, and the technology has given birth to a new science, cognitive neuroscience. The black and white picture is a structural MRI. It shows the architecture of my brain. The color picture is a functional MRI. It shows what areas of my brain are active as I do some particular thing, like laugh at a joke, or add some numbers, or experience something like pain, or the color red. When I was a girl, we had a night-blooming cactus in our front yard. It bloomed from late summer into fall. It would have all these buds all over it that would keep getting bigger, and you could always tell which ones were going to open that night. They'd be so, so pregnant. At dusk, they'd start to open up. By around 2 in the morning or so, they'd be huge, like almost the size of your head. And then at dawn, they'd be closing up again. I remember seeing bees trying frantically to squeeze into those giant closing blooms for that last raid of pollen. I almost never got to see them really big because I always had to go to bed. One evening, I was looking at one that was getting ready to open that night. You could see where all the parts, where all the petals were going to be. It just hadn't opened up yet. Like a folded umbrella, you can see how the structure is going to spread out, though it hasn't done it yet. So I was getting ready for bed, and I took the flower, and I really wanted to see it open. I started to peel it open. I wanted to open out all the parts to see the big flower in bloom. It didn't exactly work out that way. The pattern for the flower was there, the instructions for the flower were there, but it wasn't a flower in bloom. It hadn't grown into one yet. It was a possibility. It was a causal cascade. It was a trajectory that might be followed, but it hadn't happened yet.